okay so the next topic is uh, basic building blocks of digital circuits and systems here the black diagram is shown in figure so here we have total three blocks one is uh, analog to digital converter another one is uh, digital circuit or digital system and the third one is uh, digital to analog converter here uh, we have our input that is uh, analog input we cannot apply this input directly to the digital circuit or system why because it can't understood the digital system or digital electronic circuit can understand only digital data right so that's why we need to convert this analog input to digital input this analog to digital conversion will be done with the help of this analog to digital converter so after that the digital input is applied to this uh, digital circuit now it process the data so that processing may be storing, measuring, reproducing, transmitting and receiving. We have so many processing methods. So in that uh, I mentioned certain operations, right? Storing, measuring, reproducing, transmitting and receiving. If you take uh, computations like addition, subtraction, division, multiplication, these all things are comes under computations which can be done through this particular digital circuit or system. Okay and uh, after that it will provide digital output so but we cannot understand the digital output right okay we can able to read analog inputs as well as analog output in that situation we need to convert so this digital output to analog output that's why we are using this digital to analog converter so now you are getting analog output for example if you are taking calculator here for this uh, digital system so i need to consider calculator so this calculator can compute basic operations like uh, addition subtraction multiplication and division so like that we can perform certain computation by using this uh, calculator so here the calculator is a digital electronic circuit otherwise digital system so now you are providing your analog input for example 3 plus 5 you can able to read uh, this data like 3 plus 5 equals to 8 that we know right so if you increasing the numbers range that will difficult to compute by the humans right that's why we are moving to a calculator so now we are providing this analog input okay to this particular calculator inside the calculator we have this analog to digital converter so whatever the data you are providing to the calculator first step this analog to digital conversion that can be done uh, through analog to digital converter so now the digital data can be computed by calculator so after that it will deliver the digital output then again it will convert to the analog out inside the calculator we have analog to digital and digital to analog converters right so this calculator processing the data that process here is uh, basic computations like uh, addition subtraction division and multiplication. so we have so many processing steps okay in that i have mentioned certain things here so this is about uh, uh, basic building blocks of the digital circuit and system next here we have uh, certain advantages of uh, digital systems over the analog systems okay so and digital systems are more reliable and cost effective and uh, design also easy and uh, which improves the performance while comparing to the analog systems okay so these are the certain advantages if so there are uh, two types of uh, circuits which are available in in our digital uh, portion okay that are uh, combinational circuit this is the first one combinational circuits and sequential circuits these are the two uh, types of circuits which are available in our digital electronics and uh, the basic difference between these two is uh, memory that means combinational circuits do not have any memory uh, related elements whereas in sequential circuit having memory elements due to that memory uh, we can go for uh, present state and the past state okay but whereas in combinational circuit we have uh, no memory elements so that's why we are uh, depends on only present state so these are the two uh, important circuits later on we will discuss individually these two circuits so and next coming to uh, designing part so if you design any uh, digital electronic circuit so first you need to focus on analysis of problem and its uses and design part these three are the important uh, factors to design any digital electronic circuit for a complex problem so next topic is hierarchical description of a digital system here uh, we have two types of uh, approaches one is the top-down approach and the second one is uh, 
bottom up approach okay so in top down approach so we are moving from uh, systems and subsystems modules and after that functional blocks and basic units and circuits and components and devices like that uh, we are approaching towards the solution and uh, next one comes to bottom up approach that completely reverse process so first we need to focus on what are the components and devices required so from that uh, you can generate the circuits and with the help that means with the help of components and devices uh, we can generate the circuits we can design the circuits combination of the circuits will give the basic units and combination of these basic units will give the functional blocks after that uh, the interconnection of these functional blocks will form the modules and interconnection of the modules will form the subsystems then finally it will become a system okay like that uh, we can approach uh, a design process so these are the two approaches anyway so these two topics i will discuss in your lsi design object so next we will discuss number system in our next video thank you